Captain Sky Montello. Thank you. 
I came out in the 11th grade. Nobody was embracing you. The kids were cruel. It was very difficult to be gay. Not completing high school is more of a social thing than it was an academic thing. And even though all these years have passed, I still had that longing to have my diploma. I have a mentor, Maria, and she convinced me to continue my education. Just never judges. She's a true role model. From the depths of my heart, I thank you, Maria, for being a friend and a beautiful person. No one receives a diploma alone, and I'm honored to share this moment with you. Thank you. If you're even considering getting your high school diploma, go get it. You can do it. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Hey, hey, hey.
Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is a packed staff gymnasium, and tonight, senior night festivities, as you just saw. It's the Catholic Memorial Knights coming down from West Roxbury to face your Brockton boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. As always, joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, this is a big game as evidenced by the size of this crowd. Yes, yes it is, and you've got Brockton coming in here at 11 and five, and Catholic Memorial coming here at 13 and five, so let's just put the records um, to the side and let's see what they do tonight. I'm sure it's gonna be a very exciting basketball game. Well, the interesting aspect of this, anytime we see a Catholic school, it happens up or down the roster. But tonight is, is a little bit different. Their leading scorer of the Catholic Memorial Knights, number 14, Curtis Henderson, a resident of the city of Brockton, was poached 
from the city of Brockton to go play at Catholic Memorial, and he's averaging 25 points a game. Yeah, Brockton's really have to concentrate on him this evening. Okanlola winning the opening tip over to fellow senior Josiah Davis. Now it's Todd Robinson, the only non-senior in the starting lineup tonight. Here's Amir Louis Charles. One hands it down to Okanlola. Falling down in the paint, and he's called for a trap. Yeah, that was good defense inside by Catholic Memorial. Okandola tried to get it out by the free throw line, but call for the travel. Here is Henderson over to Declan O'Sullivan, the 6'4 center. O'Sullivan down low, coming back up towards the top of the key. He gets it over to number 24, Spencer Aronson. And now back to Henderson. Henderson trying to find a lane. Finger roll, no good. But he's fouled on the way up by Mayor Louis Charles. Well, you can see just on the first drive by Henderson, he is lightning fast once he goes to the basket, commits to the basket. And he's the captain of this uh, night team. Only a sophomore. That's scary. He's averaging, like you said, 25 points a game, and he's only a sophomore. And the part that hurts, he's from Brockton. He's got two points thus far, perfect from the charity stripe. He's Curtis Henderson. Now Robinson is CM working the press, Oaken Lola. His floater no good, brought down by O'Sullivan. Back the other way for CM. Henderson takes the long three, is good. Wow. It's gonna be interesting to see how Brockton responds to this full court press right off the bat. Well, they were expecting it. We talked to Bob Bowen before this game, and coach said, we said, what do you expect out of the CM team? They're 13 and five, you guys are 11 and five. So you get similar records. What do you expect? He says, they're gonna shoot a lot of threes. They're gonna press us the entire game. And that's what they've been working on in practice all week. And right now, Catholic Memorial's transition game is running really good. Mayor Louis Charles called for the foul, the second foul on the boxers at the charity stripe is Ikenna Azums. Zooms does not convert the three Ooh. points the three-point play, and now Curtis Henderson down low. Threw it out of bounds off of one of the boxers. Boy, Curtis Henderson really got in there and leaped up for that rebound, but it was good defense by the boxers. But they're gonna have to do a little bit better job Henderson. on the- Henderson, um, deep three is good. Wow. And we're only a couple of minutes into the game, and this guy's already scored a number of points. 10-0. Knights over the boxers, Amir Louis Charles looking to get the boxers on the board unsuccessful. Out of bounds off of Henderson. And the boxers will have a fresh inbound. Curtis Henderson, 5'9", 25 points a game. Only a sophomore, which means he's still growing miles. Yes. Louis Charles, three. Bang, the boxers are on the board. Yeah, big shot right there. Brockton needed something on the board to get the goose egg off. Now it's Jalen Jordan. Now zooms long two, no good, loose on the floor. Louis Charles scrapping for it. And that was good hustle by Louis Charles. He went diving for the ball, and that's what Brockton got to do this evening. They have to go after all the balls. Spencer Aronson. Aronson, three, is good after a couple of bounces off the rim. Yeah, nice shot by uh, Aronson. Side Davis to Okanlola to the corner for Dos Santos, is three, no good. O'Sullivan coming down with it for the Knights. Now it's Henderson. O'Sullivan, three from the top of the key, no good. 
but fouled by Oak and Lola. Yeah, not a good foul right there. Oak and Lola, a little bit too aggressive on the defense. Anytime you got the big man shooting a three from way out there, you just want to get in his way. You don't want to foul him. And now Declan O'Sullivan will be at the line for three shots. O'Sullivan, just a junior, 6 4. And the key here is Okinlola already has two fouls against him. Yeah, that, that's not good. We're still in the first quarter early on. And the boxers only have one converted shot. Here comes the size for Brockton Zenden Correa, the 6'8". He's listed as a senior, but he is only a junior. Comes in to replace Okinlola. Meanwhile, O'Sullivan no good on his third attempt. Correa with the rebound. Todd Robinson with it now. He gets it over to Dos Santos. Correa getting the ball off the pick and roll. And the shot doesn't fall. CM comes away with it. Henderson on the other side. O'Sullivan gets the rebound. No good. O'Sullivan oh! swatted out by Correa. Henderson baseline, a three is good for number 21, Jalen Jordan. Wow. So far, Catholic Memorial can hit that outside shot. And it ain't just Henderson hitting him. 15 point edge for the Knights. Zenden Correa down to Dos Santos, down low. Wow. He's good. I saw a little contact there. I saw a lot of contact. Yes. There. Ref doesn't call it. Here's your threshold. Henderson to Aronson, his three is good. Wow. A large lead for the CM Knights, 21 to five, and coming up with the steal is Aronson. Now it's Henderson working against Correa. No good, Correa grabs the rebound, and now Dos Santos trying to find a semi-break. His layup doesn't fall. Correa tapping the rebound out. Gives it over to Josiah Davis. Davis is called for the foul. Yeah, they're gonna call that on the floor before the shot. Declan O'Sullivan comes out for a breather as well as Jalen Jordan. A couple of subs for the boxers. Diamond Blakely in to try to jumpstart the boxer offense. Trenton Biddle. And Tajan Silva. Silva shot blocked and now thrown out of play. A kickball off of Henderson. Fresh shot clock for the boxers. Yeah, Catholic Memorial, they're doing a good job on defense. Against Brockton's half court offense. Looks like they're playing a 2-3 zone on the boxes. Silva in the paint, trying to spin with it. His floater no good. And out of play off of CM. Boy, CM is doing a good job underneath, not giving up anything easy. Coming up with a steal, but throwing it right back into the hands of the boxes. Now Blakely charging in. His floater no good. Uncontested rebound for Spencer Aronson. Aronson, three, no good off the front of the rim. Zenon Correa the rebound. He uh, has a little bit too much air under it for Todd Robinson, and it's a turnover. Yeah, a lot of adrenaline going right there. Correa made the nice play on defense and just got a little excited on the pass. But it looks like Brockton cannot make a lot of mistakes in this basketball game if they want to stay with uh, Catholic Memorial. And that was a good call right there, Henderson Mad Dog. Call for the travel. Good defense, good call. Now it's Robinson trying to break the CM press. Here's Trenton Biddle 
to Tajian Silva for three. No good off the back of the rim. It's kicked out to Blakely. Oh, the there and go. they're going to call a lot of contact as Blakely hit the floor. You said it, a lot of contact by number 32, McGowan. Made the contact to Blakely with Blakely. A nice job. Blakely saw a little opening and went right to the basket. I think we may have a colorblind official here. They, they called that foul on number 32 of the green team. It might just be me, but I don't see green uniforms out there. Twenty-one five the score, CM on top of Brockton. As Blakely misses a free throw, Tajan Silva has a bounce out of his arms. Now Diamond Blakely trying to lead a call and a block gonna be called on Tajan Silva. And the one guy on the Catholic Memorial roster, I hoped would not play. Just entered the game. Ayobami Agung Badero. Badero, let's just call him Badero. I was gonna say Ayo. There you go. Henderson, 15 on the shot clock. A three, no good. Aronson with the rebound, his putback attempt no good and out of play off of Tajan Silva. Yeah, Catherine Memorial really hustling for that offensive um, rebound. Good ball movement for the Knights. Yeah. Aronson over to Brendan Noonan. Now with 10 on the shot clock, wow. way downtown wow. is Curtis Henderson. Somebody's gonna have to get right in his face because you leave him just a little bit open, he's gonna hit that shot. Robinson air balls the three, Henderson with the rebound. Now it's Ooh, nice, blocked from nice behind block. by Trenton Biddle uh. and he's gonna be called for the foul. That was number 12, Brendan Noonan that was in alone before Wow, that was ticky tack. So now Noonan at the line for two shots. Amir Louis Charles and number 34, Vikim Nichols, going to come into the game. Brockton needs the size of Nichols, 6'6. And built like a middle linebacker. Yeah. Brockton down by 20 now. They have to do something on the offensive end to start getting some shots to fall. 25 to 5 to score, make it 26 to 5. As Noonan goes two for two at the line. Now Diamond Blakely over to Biddle. Biddle, and for no one in particular in the paint. And CM comes up with a loose ball. Definitely, definitely miscommunication there. Moving over to Agung Badero. His shot no good. Brockton coming away with it. Tajan Silva hands off to Diamond Blakely a minute to go in the first quarter. Silva driving the lane and draws the foul. And that is going to go against Ayobami Agung Badero. If I say it enough times, it'll start rolling off the top. You're doing a great job, Mad Dog. For those wondering, he is a six foot senior. His first name is spelled A Y O B A M I. Diamond Blakely over to Silva. Silva from way downtown is good. Yeah, that's a big shot right there. Just to get a little momentum going, a little confidence for the boxes. Noonan, three on the other side, no good. That's up. That's up. Not a playoff of CM. And the press continues. With a foul called on Brendan Noonan. 
Well, they called that on Sean Grant, the junior guard. Here's Blakely slowing up with it, enough to separate himself from the CM defense. Here's Silva, counted in one for Tajian Silva. And that's what we need, strong drive to the basket. Silva did a nice job driving through the defense in the paint. Made the strong move and chance for a three-point play here. Spencer Erickson comes out, Curtis Henderson back in. So Brockton did their best to kind of get closer with Henderson off the floor. They are now within 16. And Silva missing his lone free throw. 30 seconds to go. A two second difference between shot clock and game clock here in the first quarter. Here's number 32, Owen McGowan is Coach Dennis Tobin calling for last shot. Agung Badero out to Henderson, 10 on the shot clock. Curtis Henderson trying to separate from Diamond Blakely. Five on the shot clock. Henderson from way down to oh! 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 Curtis oh! Henderson almost oh! at half court. Oh! And he'll be at the line to try to make oh! a four-point play. Wow. This guy's the real deal here, folks. Wow. Even the postman is shaking his head here over here. Even the Catholic Memorial <laughs> coaches are shaking their heads. Wow. <laughs> Curtis Henderson, about 10 feet beyond the three-point line. All met. And drew the foul. And he makes it a four-point play. 30 to 10 the score. See him up by 20. 4.2 on the clock. And it's out of bounds off of Brockton. Henderson inbounds. Henderson, last second three, no good. That would have been something if he hit that one as well. At the end of a very exciting first quarter to watch, Curtis Henderson putting on a clinic here at Staff Gymnasium. 30 to 10 miles. Brockton needs to get something going in the offensive zone. And on the other side of the court, they need to double team, possibly triple team Curtis Henderson. Yeah, it, they're gonna have to get in his face on the outside shots. Problem is he's so quick. The defense a little leery that he might just shoot by him and drive right to the basket. Another problem is there's about three or four other CM players that can hit that outside shot. They got some serious weapons on their, on their team, and Brockton's really got their hands full this evening. Miles, break down that one play right at the end of the first quarter. Curtis Henderson, 10 feet outside the three-point line, almost at half court with a guy in his face. Yeah, he had the ball with about... 15 seconds left, clock winding down, crowds looking, defense is playing pretty good. And like you said, all of a sudden he just steps back about seven feet away from the three point line and hits the shot all bottoms. Curtis he Henderson accounting for exactly half of the Catholic Memorial total on the night. He's already got 15 and we're only through one quarter. He's averaging 25 a game. I'm sure if we keep up at this rate, that average is going to go up. Well, see, the problem is he's from Brockton, so he wants to show his show out right here in front of his um, his um, fans from Brockton. And um, right now, he's living up to the height. Travel called on Trenton Biddle. Yeah, Biddle's not having a good game at the moment. He's made some mistakes out here. A packed house here at Staff Gymnasium. Barely a spot on the bleachers left. And then Correa is going to come back into the game to try to slow up the CM offense. Aronson to Henderson. He thought about the three. Instead drives inside. Floater two off the front of the rim. No good. Aronson with the offensive rebound. A long three. No good. Now Viking Nichols fighting for the rebound. It's out of play off of CM. 
Brockton takes over. Correa and Dos Santos in. Vikim Nichols and Amir Louis Charles come out for Brockton. Correa ripping it down over Declan O'Sullivan. Now Blakely. Blakely reverse layup, no good. Fighting for it and a jump ball is gonna be called as the official almost had 6'8 Junior Zenden Correa roll into the front of his legs. Yeah, it was a nice job by Blakely driving to the basket. Ball just wouldn't fall in for him. And Blakely did an, excuse me, Korea did a nice job of um, going up there and fighting for that rebound. Henderson can't gather in the long inbounds pass, and now Trenton Biddle is fouled and will be at the line for two shots. Nice job by Biddle driving right to the basket. Having the defense commit the foul. Declan O'Sullivan called for his first personal, the sixth team foul. Both teams with six fouls against them early in the second quarter. Trenton Biddle at the line for two shots. No good on his first attempt, and that's got to be the first step, Miles, to trying to claw your way back into this thing. Exactly. I was just thinking the same thing. Now that when Brockton gets on the free throw line, it's they're already critical shots here in the second quarter because they're already down by 20 points. 0 for 2 for Trenton Biddle out of play off of Cajun Silva. Spencer Aronson with it for the Knights. O'Sullivan handing off for Aronson, a long three, no good. Dos Santos grabbing the rebound, now throws it up for Correa. Correa, as he was spinning around, looking for the looking call. The call, where was it? Now it's Curtis Henderson. Asian Silva comes up, it's a three on two for the boxers. The whistle stoppage. And the referee charging in from half court to call a foul on Pat Manning. side Davis comes in he will replace Trenton Biddle the boxers really feeling the loss still of sophomore Navon Reed 65 guard had a freak injury a broken pinky in the New Bedford game yeah and, and that, that's a big loss for the boxes going into the playoffs with uh, Reed out for the rest of the year. Still hopeful he may return. It's not likely, but it could happen. What happened is he broke his finger in such a way, it's not on the finger itself. It's right at the base of the finger by the knuckle. And yeah. that's, he had a giant cast on. Yeah, a lot of tissue, cartilage, things like that down in that area. So Ooh. it's reevaluated. Good call right there. That Henderson. was a good, good call. Henderson threw his left elbow out when he went to the basket. He didn't get away with that one. Good call by the referee right there on Henderson. That is two on Curtis Henderson. Correa down low, can't corral the pass, and he carries it out of play. Yeah, not, not really a good pass by uh, DeSantos. Now Spencer Aronson getting some trouble from Josiah Davis. Yeah, Aronson's showing his dribbling skills. 
And now it's Jalen Jordan back in for the Knights. And a foul gonna be called on Robinson. Bob Bowen telling Robinson, that's a good foul. This Catholic Memorial team very, very quick. I mean, this is one of the quicker high school teams that Brockton has played all year. But New Bedford was another quick team. At the line is Ikenna Azums, 6'1 junior. Nice job by Silva on the rebound there. It's an 18 point lead for the Knights. Todd Robinson looking to change that. His inbound pass for Zendon Correa doesn't connect and At least the ref figured out what color CM's wearing tonight. Said red that time. Robinson at the line. One-on-one bonus situation. Hits his first to earn the second. 32-13, Brockton trying to whittle down the lead as much as they can before halftime. Tajan Silva tried to grab it right off the rim. Throws it to Correa oh. and his layup, no good. Got to make those. Great That's job by Silva to save that. Curtis Henderson, a three for a zooms, no good. High bounce off the rim. Silva comes down with it, now Dos Santos collecting the loose ball. Getting through two nights over to Tajan Silva, wide open three, Tajan Silva in and out. And Dos Santos fouled by Spencer Aronson. Yeah, it looks like it was, they're gonna let Correa shoot the free throw. He went up too. Him and Dos Santos. Biddle's gonna come back in for Brockton, presumably replacing Josiah Davis. Cajun Silva will be the odd man out. Silva did a nice job while he was in there hustling and making things happen. Two for two at the line is Zendon Correa. It's now 32-15, see him on top. It's gonna be out of play off of Brockton? Yeah. That was a good defensive play. He got his leg out there and it hit his knee, the ball. O'Sullivan floating it in for Curtis Henderson. Now it's Ikenna Azums. Azums handing off to Jalen Jordan. Three on the shot clock. Henderson's gonna throw up a wild shot. He does after the shot clock had expired. So it's a shot clock violation on the Knights. Yeah, nice job by the boxers on defense right there. They need more of that. They've got a blanket Henderson when he gets the basketball. Now in a double bonus situation are the boxers for the rest of the half with four and a half minutes to go. Yeah, now this is where the boxers got to take advantage of the bonus situation when you can get up here and get fr uh, free throws and the, the shot clock is, excuse me, the game clock is stopped, then you got to take advantage. I guess I jinxed Or him. not. <laughs> come on, John, come on. And this is what gives the coaches gray hairs. <laughs> Brockton not having a good night at the free throw line. And a push is gonna be called on Josiah Davis. Stop. 
It should be a one and one situation. Half the scorer's table, Yarrow admit it's two shots. The other half saying, no, it's a one and one. It is a one and one. And Henderson was not in the act of shooting when that foul occurred. Missed his first attempt. Now it's a zooms, floater, no good. Correa reaching over everybody. And now Trent Biddle trying to create something on the other side. He's followed from behind. Well, nice job of Correa getting that ball out to the lead man, Biddle. And Biddle doing a nice job driving hard to the basket and getting fouled. The third foul for I cannot Azums. Biddle back at the line. <laughs> 0 for 3 of the last trip. The last now two trips combined for the boxers. Cray went two for two before that. And for the boxers before that, they were one for four. Yeah, this is just not going to cut it for the boxers. They continue this um, horrendous free throw shooting. Biddle finally hits one, 30 to 16 the score. Wide open three for Aronson, no good. And carrying it out of bounds was Josiah Davis. Henderson to Azum's in the corner. He's blocked by Correa. Sending Correa for Dos Santos. He throws it behind him to Trenton Biddle. He slows up the offense. Now Great. it's Josiah Davis. Great save by Dos Santos. Davis out to Biddle, but he's called for the travel. <laughs> Coach Dennis Tobin saying, at least I can trust one guy to call a travel. <laughs> Aronson thought about the turn and shoot three. Azum's hit from behind by Correa, no call, but the layup does fall 32 to 16. Yeah, a nice play right there. Brockton committed too much defense on one man and left a man open. Dos Santos to Davis. Now out for Biddle, his three, no good. Dos Santos offensive board, and I believe a push gonna be called on Aronson. Yeah, nice, nice, strong rebound by Dos Santos. Amir Louis Charles, Diamond Blakely going to come back in for Brockton. <laughs> Dos Santos missing his first attempt. for two. Curtis Henderson to Aronson, back to Henderson. 3.05 to go in the second quarter. And a wild pass finds its way out of bounds. Blakely in for Dos Santos. And that was because of good defense by Zenden Career on Dean up on Henderson on the outside. Merely Charles fighting for the loose ball and he couldn't throw it off of Louis Charles. Now Correa fouled on his way to the rack and he'll be at the line for two shots. Yeah, it was good defense again by the Brockton Boxers and good hustle. Forced Henderson to try to throw it off the Brockton player and it go out of bounds, but it didn't work. And Correa's at the line. Can I zoom's called for that foul, his first. 
So the Knights in quite a bit of foul trouble early in this game in the greater scheme of things. Curtis Henderson himself has two fouls against him. Jalen Jordan with three. And now it zooms with one. And a land violation on Amir Louis Charles. Come on, Nate. Just can't do that when you when you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole. Zenden made the shot, but it will not count. Aronson, well, I think Correa got an arm on that one too. Yeah, a lot of intimidation there. The uh, shooter had to adjust his shot. And it was a collision on the floor. It was a nasty collision. Yeah. Amir Louis Charles left shoulder found its way into Aronson's head. Yeah, his either his head hit the court or hit Louis Charles' knee or something, but uh, that was a real collision, th collision there. Spencer Aronson down. So our so stat man, Mike Simmons, said he think that they hit heads. So I think that's what happened. Both of them hit, hit their heads. And um, unfortunately, number 24, Aronson got the worst of it. I, th I think it was Amir Louis Charles' left shoulder as Aronson gets up and gets to the bench under his own power. So the news of the day, Miles, the collusion cases against the NFL have been settled. Uh, Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed both settled with the league today. Saw a report, and there's no truth to this yet, not confirmed, but Colin Kaepernick will take away somewhere around $80 million wow. from the league for the alleged collusion. But on the other side, the NFL doesn't have to admit any wrongdoing. Well, when you pay somebody $80 million, then it sounds like uh, you were guilty and of something. And that's only half of it, because yeah. Eric Reed also settled with the league, and he's going to get a hefty sum of money. Well, there you go. Here's Henderson for the Knights. Oh! -ho -ho. And it's good. Oh! -ho -ho. Wow, that was a nice move. That was a big time college move right there, folks. Robinson high off glass, no good. Zenden Cray offensive board. His putback attempt, no good. Azums with the rebound. Travel called. And, and, and I having think, dreams of a dunk with Sean Grant. Yeah, and I think another reason he traveled because he saw Zenden right there waiting for him and he tried to adjust himself and he traveled in the process. So here's the opportunity for the boxers right here. Buck 43, Henderson comes out for a break, replaced by 5'8 freshman Evan Millerick. This is where the boxers have to cut into that lead. Correa hit from behind, he'll be at the line for two shots. Nice pass by Blakely. Found Zenden underneath and he was hit on the arm. Well, it was a quick breather for Curtis Henderson. But it'll come back in. That was quick. We'll try to get the exact duration, but I, I think it was somewhere around 12 seconds that Curtis Henderson was off the floor. And Brockton did cut into the lead while Correa was off the floor. Might have only been one point, but they did it. Full court press going for the boxers last minute and a half, and a timeout called by Dennis Tobin. That was a good timeout right there by the coach, for the coach of um, Catholic Memorial because Brockton's um, defense right there had him hemmed in. Buck and a half left in the first half. 34 to 19 the score. Brockton down by 15. Trying to claw their way back into this thing as Curtis Henderson and the Knights have just put on a clinic so far here at Staff Gymnasium. At the end of the first quarter, Henderson had 15 points just by himself, half of the Knights total. 
And again, besides uh, Henderson, um, Catholic Memorial's got some great shooters over there that can kill you. you. Concentrate on Henderson too much, then you leave somebody else open. It's one of the final games of the season for the boxers. They have the Mansfield Tournament in which they'll go up against Wachusett, Mansfield, and Lowell. Weston here at home. And that rounds out the season for the boxers. The Zooms and Blakely fighting for it. All ball for Blakely and it's a jump ball. Brockton takes over. Excellent decision by Blakely to come over and get his hands on that ball. Tied up. And it goes Brockton's way, so nice play. Brockton needs to score a basket here. Diamond Blakely with it for the boxers. Out to Todd Robinson. He thought about the three, held on for a little too long. Now Blakely loses it, throws it back out to Robinson. Now he takes the long ball, ah. and it's good! Todd Robinson and one from beyond the arc. That was good communication between Blakely and um, Robinson going back and forth until finally somebody was open. Robinson took advantage and hit the big shot right there. Chance for a four point play right here. We rarely see one of those in a game, let alone two. And both of them have been converted. 34 to 23, an 11 point lead. Brockton trying to work their way closer. Curtis Henderson throws it long up for Azum's off the glass and in. Wow. Azum just went flew to the basket. That was very quick. Under a minute to go here, 45 seconds. Amir Louis-Charles over to Trenton Biddle. Biddle working his way in, he's hit from behind. Number 21 coming up with the block, Jalen Jordan. Let's get the stopwatch going for how long Henderson is off the floor. He was just replaced by Jalen Jordan. Yeah, I think he, coach took him out because he's got two fouls on him, and he doesn't want him getting his third foul with 40 seconds or less on the clock. Louis Charles recovering from a miscommunication. Couple of offensive boards and one for Amir Louis Charles. Wow, Louis Charles, he just woke up, out jumped everybody on the court. Nice offensive board to put it back up and in and gets the chance for the three point play. And the official time on that Curtis Henderson breather was 12 seconds. He is back on the floor, and Amir Louis Charles wow. converts the old fashioned three. 10 point lead, Brockton doing yeoman's work here in the second quarter. That's going to be a charge, rightly called. That was a great play decision by Blakely. He knew he couldn't do anything as far as to, to block the shot or anything because he's much shorter, so he just held his position and let the offensive player commit himself to the basket and it was a charge, great call. Sean Grant committing that charge, his third personal. Now Robinson gathering the inbound pass, the shot clock is off. Brockton trying to bring it to a single digit lead. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Robinson, no good, Correa offensive board, off the glass and in with 15 seconds left. It's an eight point lead now for the Knights. Great patience by Korea. And a foul is going to be called on Amir Louis Charles. That was good defense by Charles. Make him run into the free call throw it line. On Blakely. Wow. Well, it was good, good defense. Make them earn it at the free throw line, even though the, the Catholic Memorial team, they're all great free throw shooters. Boxes have cut this down to within uh, single digits. A nine point lead now for the Knights. As Grant comes out, Pat Manning comes in. 100, 100. One, one. Back to a 10 point lead, 6.6 .6 to go. Diamond Blakely with it for the boxers. He's going to throw up a floater and fouled with 1.2 to go. Great decision by Blakely. Not a lot of time left, just go right into the paint. Maybe you'll get fouled and that's what happened. 
Zuzus. Rather, that's Owen McGowan that that was called on his third personal, so the foul troubles continue here for the CM Knights. It's gonna be a very cautious second half for them, Miles. Very cautious, because Brockton has gotten them, some of them guys into foul trouble. But the only problem is Brockton still cannot capitalize on the free throw line. Blake Leo for two in the <laughs> Correa coming up with the last second block on his zooms. A loud block. The buzzer sounds and the first half has come to an end. Yeoman's effort miles by the boxers to claw their way back from 20 points down at the end of the first quarter. Now the CM lead is 10, 38 to 28 at halftime. Yeah, so what they got to do in the second half, they got to make the free throw shots on the free throw line. They, they've gotten the uh, Catholic Memorial Knights in trouble as far as fouls. They've been to the free throw line quite a number of times. Right now, the only one really doing a consistent job on the free throw shooting is um, Zenden Korea. Everybody else is kind of struggling. So if they can come back out, play good, tough defense, they kind of shut down Henderson a little bit in that second quarter and slowed him down a little bit. But if they can do that in the second half, they just might be able to give this Catholic Memorial team a run for their money. 38 to 28, your score at halftime. Catholic Memorial leading the Brockton Boxers by 10 going into the break. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Dad? Just one minute, OK? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Catholic Memorial Knights and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joining alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, a big second quarter by the Brockton Boxers. 18 points to claw their way back into this thing. They are down by 10 entering this third quarter, make it 12 now that CM has converted a layup. Nice job by Del Santos, hit that three. Start off on a positive note here in the third quarter. Nine point edge now for the Knights, 40 to 31 the score. Declan O'Sullivan looking in for a zooms, no good. Offensive board and a jump ball call. Good hustle by, I believe that was um, Oak and Lola with the hustle. Quite the halftime ceremony. We'll get into that in a little bit. Todd Robinson with it now for the boxes. The leading scorers brought to you by the Mad Dog Research Team tonight headed up by Mike the Postman Simmons with not one, but multiple deliveries to the viewers of Brockton. Mayor Louis Charles coming up with the takeaway. Leading scores for Brockton, tied with seven points, Tajian Silva, Zenden Correa, right behind that. Amir Louis Charles with six, Todd Robinson with five, Dos Santos with two, Trenton Biddle with one. For the Catholic Memorial Knights, of course, Curtis Henderson with 17. In no particular order, Brendan Nuna with four, Jalen Jordan with three. Azums, Aronson both with six, and Declan O'Sullivan with two. Through halftime at least. Long three from the corner, no good. Oak and Lola who sat out most of that first half with foul trouble, he's got three personals. 
Works his way in and hits the layup. Uh, nice job by Okanola, moving without the basketball and was able to handle the little pass right on the red paint and made the shot. Curtis Henderson with it for three off the front of the rim, no good, but out of play off of Brockett. Yeah, what you call, he's gotta grab that ball, Josiah Davis, gotta grab it. Curtis Henderson, number 14 in red. A sophomore captain, which you don't see often especially for a private school like the Catholic Memorial Knights. They're averaging 25 points a game, already with 17 here tonight. He's got the ball now for CM. And originally from Brockton. Don't rub it in. O'Sullivan turn, shoot, Whoa, two, good. Wow. Nice play right there. O'Sullivan was given what Brockton gave him and took advantage, and made the opportunity there. And another turnover for Brockton. Help, Jalen, help him! Go! Henderson driving in, fouled. Nope. Or are they just gonna just, say it's out of bounds? Out of bounds. No contact. And I think Henderson was looking for contact or looking for a whistle. Uh, Barack has got to do a better job on that inbounds pass. Todd Robinson with it now. Two and a half minutes into this second quarter. Josiah Davis here on senior night. One of the four seniors. Dos Santos, another one. Okanlola. It's the layup. Nice strong move by Okanlola. But Brockton was sleeping right there. They got to be ready after they make that basket. No time to celebrate. That's Robinson working his way inside. Floater no good. Okanlola offensive board foul down low. Yeah, Okanlola really exerting himself in his third quarter. Underneath the boards, banging. Declan O'Sullivan called for the foul, his third personal. Robinson long three, yeah. no good. Way too far out, he could took a couple of steps in. Azum's lamp is good. Already two fouls on the CM Knights in this second half after committing about 20 in the first half. Yeah, I'm just wondering how long can coach wait for to bring in um, Korea. It's gonna come in now, jump ball called. What Brockton needs, they need that intimidation factor in there for these, um, for defensive purposes for Cath Memorial when Zendaya Korea is in there. You can tell sometimes Catholic Memorial has to adjust his shot or their pass, and it makes a big difference when he's in there. And it looks like Coach has brought him in. Aronson comes in to replace Jalen Jordan. Dos Santos gonna be called for the foul against Curtis Henderson. There's number 12, Brendan Noonan. Now it's Aronson. Four minutes even to go in the third quarter. Noonan, three, no good. Okanlola coming down with the rebound for Brockton. Now Sonny the freight train working wow. his way in, he draws the foul. Yeah, you could hear the slap all the way over here by courtside. Foul 
Smith to Arrington, second foul. Trent Biddle gonna come back in for Brockton, along with Tajan Silva. Nothing while they're missing his first attempt. A lot of missed free throws in that first half, Miles, for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, just too many free throws they missed in that first half. Really would have made a difference in this score. Go for two. And yeah, nice job by uh, Zenden. Silva three, no good. Correa oh, where's the, the foul? He was hacked. Diamond Blakely comes up with a turnover. Kicks it out to Silva, driving baseline to Correa down low. The bucket's not going to count, but Silva will be at the line for two shots. That's four fouls on Declan O'Sullivan. And that'll be a big help for the boxers. Get the big man out of there. Okay, Lola down low, strong to the basket, no good. Three boxers fighting for the rebound and CM's gonna come away with it because of the miscommunication. Yeah, a couple times there they were fighting it over themselves. Oh no, that was a bad call, it was off the Henderson. Off his leg, referee missed that one. Good defense by the boxers. Henderson, top of the key, over to Aronson. He goes up and down with it, yeah. and that's a travel. Yes, crowd knew it was a travel. He's trying to plead his case to the ref, but that was clear yeah. as day. Yes. I don't know what there is to explain on that one. Coach Dennis Tobin looking for an explanation. Boxes need a basket. Okanlola fouled by Aronson. Yeah, nice job by Okanlola going to the basket. Have another foul committed by Catholic Memorial. Missing his first attempt, 0 for 3 so far this half for the boxers. I'm ready to pull my hair out. Yes! 25% a bed. Uh. Aronson to Azum's down low. Azum's running into a wall. And they're gonna say that the foul will go against Okanlola. Yeah. And I think if Okanlola could have just eased up a little bit because he had his backup with him, Korea, and I don't think he would have made he wouldn't have made that shot if Okanlola did not foul him because that was great defense by Brockton. Okanola's third personal, he'll come out in favor of Vikim Nichols. 2.42 left in the third quarter, 48 to 36, a 12 point edge for the Knights. Now Zoom's missing his first attempt. And Nichols, he comes in for Okanlola. He's gonna have to really step up and, and make an impact. One of two is I cannot uh, zooms. 
Here's Trent Biddle for the boxers. He's got nowhere to go with it, turns it over to three Knights. And Henderson down low left, no good. A zooms wild pass, somehow finds number 32, Owen McGowan, and the bucket falls for the Knights. Yeah, McGowan did a nice job switching hands and laid it up nicely with his left hand. Cajun Silva over to Biddle in for Correa. 10 on the shot clock, Correa for Viking Nichols down low and he's on the board. Yeah, nice little pass by Correa, right inside. Wow. Zooms all the way in, he's good. That was a nice, bat nice drive to the basket. Blakely to Nichols down low, and it's good. Yeah, Nichols taking advantage. The little dish-offs, that's the second one in a row. They've dished it off to Nichols. Henderson way downtown, no good. That's out of play, it hit the safety strap. And Henderson like he maybe twerked his ankle or something. And he's, he's gonna go right to the end of the bench. Yeah. He's working oh, out no. that left cramp. Half. It's like a cramp or something. So I'm sure he'll be back. Nichols down low fouled, and the Knights thought that was a travel. But it's going to be Aronson called. Well, with Henderson out for a few minutes, the boxers need to take advantage and tr try to get some points on the board and uh, close this lead a little bit. Right now, 13 points down. All the way in for Blakely. He thought about the really long three. Correa now spinning, trying to get closer. Off the glass and in, Zendon Correa. Yeah, nice spin move by the big man. And he comes back for the lap wow. block on the other side. Diamond Blakely up to Trent Biddle in transition. Off the glass and in. Wow. What a sequence for the Brockton Boxers. And Aronson comes up hurt. Aronson's right leg. Great defense by the boxes and great transition game. And, and to respond and get that basket. Lee cut down the one digit, now it's nine. Henderson comes back in, but he's still limping, favoring that left leg. 53 to 44, the score. Brockton turning the momentum with that last sequence. Yeah, that was great defense. Oh, what a step back for Henderson oh, is good. Oh, oh. oh, that was dirty. <laughs> Blakely to Correa. Doesn't get enough on it. Now tipping it to himself three or four times. And CM will take over. Tough break right there for the boxes. Good hustle by Kathy Memorial. Shot clock is off here in the third quarter. 20 seconds remaining. Curtis Henderson with it. Now it's I cannot zooms back to Henderson. 13 on the shot clock on the, the game clock. Curtis Henderson working his way in. Travel. And it's called for the travel. Good defense. So Brockton has a chance here with an attack now on Henderson for shooting it after the whistle. Yeah, the referee wanted the ball. Henderson didn't give it to him. And the captain should know better. So the Tech Henderson has to come off the floor. A couple of free throws for the boxers. Then in Correa, the easy choice here tonight. Uh, Definitely easy choice. He's been hitting most of his free throws this evening. He's got a nice touch on the ball. 
Hits his first. 56 to 45, an 11 point lead for the Knights. The key here is Brockton will have possession coming out of this free throw. So the Tech, you get the two shots and the ball. So Brockton could have a four point or a five point swing, which would be huge for momentum here at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, they definitely need to um, take advantage here and score a basket. Two seconds left, a long three off the glass, no good for Trenton Biddle. At the end of the third quarter, 56 to 46, a 10 point edge for the CM Knights. Miles, that was a heck of a quarter. Yeah, it really was, it was just good hustle by the boxes. Um, Henderson went down for a moment, Aronson went down for a moment, and um, Brockton has taken advantage, they've got it down to 10 points, but what they gotta do, they've gotta press on even harder on defense and make a few more shots on offense. Well, with Curtis Henderson now with a tech and the gimpy leg. And with a tech, he can't have another tech. He's gonna have to really be cool out there as far as um, he's gonna have to show his captain leadership even though he's only a sophomore. He can't afford to get two techs. I and that comes with a suspension for next game. Exactly. And if I'm the boxers realizing that, I'm trying to bait him the there rest of the game. Yeah. Definitely try to bait him. Because he, he is a very intense competitor. Henderson now with 22 points. I cannot zooms second on the Knights with 15 for the boxers. Zenon Correa with 10. He is the only boxer in double digits. And plus he's been an, an intimidator out there on, on defense. As Catherine Morrow has altered the, some of their shots out there with him in there. Owen McGowan holding it. He hands off now to Jalen Jordan. Drilling out to Henderson, top of the key for Ikenna Azums. Uh, Azums travels with it, not called. Now McGowan, Henderson three, 10 on the shot clock is good. Blakely down low for Tajian Silva. I think they call offensive, offensive foul, foul on Tajian Silva. Zooms hands off to Henderson. Henderson with it. He's backing up, 12 on the shot clock, no movement. Henderson, long three, no good. And it's gonna be Brockton ball. Yeah, nice job by Brockton. You saw the big man, Okanlola was on him. Dare, daring uh, Henderson to come inside. Diamond Blakely with it for the boxers. One minute into the fourth quarter, it's 59-46. CM on top. Not a good pass by Biddle. If you're gonna... Long three for Aronson is good. Yeah, he's, he's another big time player. Aronson for Catholic Memorial. Correa down low, trying to overhand it out to Todd Robinson. Blakely comes up with the loose ball. Now it's Oak and Lola, the big man shoots a three, two long. Biddle with the offensive board. Now Robinson, floater, no good. And an offensive foul is gonna be called on sending Correa in the paint. Well, in Korea, Correa took a nasty fall, but he's okay. Just a little frustrated on the call. Azums now comes out complaining of a cramp. A lot of cramping for the CMT. I agree to say, a lot of cramping going on. 
Henderson. I don't know what the, the ride down uh, 93 looked like from West Roxbury, but. It wasn't that long. Robinson coming up with the loose ball over to Blakely. Dos Santos, pump fakes for three, moves inside for two, fouled. The shot does not fall, so two shots for Marquis Dos Santos. That's four fouls on Brendan Noonan, and the boxers are in a one and one shooting situation for the remainder of the game. But Dos Santos in the act of shooting will have two shots here. Smiles at halftime. And a lot of people didn't see this. There was what they call a promposal. So you get a bunch of your friends to hold signs, there's balloons. You get your family, her family, whatever. Kid asks a cheerleader to the prom. She must already have a date or something. She said no. In front of the packed gym. Yeah, I, I was surprised at that too. I gotta give my man credit. He, you know, it takes a lot to do that. Get on your knees and ask the young lady to be my prom they date. Did, they hooked him up too. They gave him the microphone. He's on the sound system. She said no. Here's Henderson, 10 on the shot clock. Newton throws up a shot, no good. Correa with the uncontested rebound. Good defense by the boxers. 13 point lead for the Knights. Brockton's gonna cut into that here. Blakely to Robinson, 15 on the shot clock. Now Dos Santos, corner three off the side of the backboard. Okanlola down low, his layup is good. Yeah, nice job by Okanlola, staying underneath. Aronson, three wow. is good. Aronson really being a pain for these boxes. Correa down Where's low, the no foul? good. Gets his own rebound off the glass and in. Oh, come on. Back and forth they go, 12 point edge for the Knights. There's Owen McGowan out to Noonan. Now it's McGowan again. Travel is called. Declan O'Sullivan coming back in. He will replace Owen McGowan. Again, good defense by the boxers there on the inside play. But they're still letting those outside shooters shoot the basket and they're hitting them. Dos Santos turn and shoot three, way off the mark. Brockton ball. You know, and I like that shot because he was open and Dos Santos can hit that shot, but um, unfortunately, it didn't happen that time. Correa fighting for it in a jump ball called. And this one will be going CM's way. Now they're trying to figure out whose ball it should be. It's multiple complaints mm, in yes. one. <laughs> oh, you're fine. So it'll be Brockton's ball because there's been no jumps in this quarter. Brockton starts off with possession. But also being complained about was the fact that the defense chant was being pumped through the speakers. Now CM takes over, out of bounds off of. Well, Brockton's not gonna have to um, do a better job. I think the DJ is hearing 
Dennis Tobin can play because the second that ball was thrown in, he stopped the music. Yeah, Brockton's execution on the Henderson pass. three, no good. Dos Santos, long two, bang! Nice square up by Dos Santos. Noonan hit from behind, that was all ball. Yeah, that was all ball. And that just went out of bounds, so CM will have the inbound. I mean, we know a sound of slapping sound on the arm and a slapping sound of the ball. Aronson to the corner for Henderson. He takes a three. No good. This Coach Tobin yelling for a foul. Now thrown off of the legs of Azums. Aronson down low over to Henderson off the glass and in. Wow, nice fake right there by Aronson. Back to an 11 point lead for the night. 67 56 the score, 3 12 to go. Blakely, three. No good. Aronson, three, no good. And half the Knights on the floor thought that was going in before it did. Piddle, three, no good. Correa grabbing the offensive board, trying to drive baseline. And a jump ball called. Wow. Watch, watching the opposing coaches is always fun. Sometimes they can be very colorful. Timeout called by <laughs> the Knights. 67 to 56, 2.40 to go. Henderson now with 27 points. So his average will officially go up. Well, Brockton's Achilles heel this evening so far is um, free throw shooting and really Kathy Memorial had just been on point as far as shooting that outside shot and working the ball inside. They really came out and, and they came out here with their A game this evening right here in uh, Hostel Staff Gymnasium and uh, showed the box of fans, why they come in here at 13 and five. That was impressive. That was impressive by one of Brock's cheerleaders. The box's lone male cheerleader. Entertaining the crowd. Entertaining. Can you do that, Mad Dog? <sighs> Maybe when I was like in my infancy. <laughs> I don't think there was any air under the flip though. Mike the Postman Simmons attempted a backflip once. In his younger days? In his younger days. That was, that was quite the experience. Hey guys, jump three left. Quite acrobatic work by Mike the Postman Simmons. Declan O'Sullivan underhanding it to Henderson. Now a three, no good. Correa coming down with the rebound. Zenith Correa. Three inches taller than the tallest CM Knight. Four inches taller than the tallest Knight that has played tonight. Okinola turns it over. Blakey comes up with the loose ball. Blakely off the glass and it falls. Nice hustle by Diamond Blakely. And a travel called on Willie, uh, Henderson. I keep wanting to say Williamson because the kid from Duke, Zion Williamson, yeah. This yeah. kid, uh, Curtis Henderson, is playing an awful lot like Zion. Yes, and one of the few mistakes this evening by Henderson. Couldn't have come at a better time where the boxes cut it down to nine. But they've only got two minutes, seven seconds to uh, make an impact. Biddle to Blakely in for Oak and Lola driving the basket. That would have been quite the shot if it went in now. Correa down low, can't get handles on it. 
And it's going to be a boxer basketball. 27 on the shot clock, buck 51 in the game. As tough as it is, tough as it is, boxers need to score a little bit quicker. They cannot take a lot of time off the clock. Blakely top of the key. Over to Todd Robinson now. Back to Blakely Robinson. Robinson short two, no good. And out of play off of Trenton Biddle. Box is gonna have to get a full court press in here. They need the ball back. Brockton working the full court press now. O'Sullivan throws it off of Okinwola out of play. Here's Aronson, he's been fired tonight and he draws the foul from Okinwola. Yep, Aronson's one of the players that's been a thorn in this uh, box's side here this evening along with Henderson and number, uh, there was another one there, number 23, Azums. It's a well-rounded Catholic Memorial team. Okinola's fourth personal foul. Robinson and Biddle come out, Dos Santos and Amir Louis Charles in. Those are the three-point shooters for the boxers. One of two at the line is Aronson. Back to a 10 point lead. Blakely to Louis Charles, long two, no good. Correa tapping the rebound three times to himself and then O'Sullivan comes down with it. Yep. Azum's cutting between two boxers and loose ball on the floor. O'Sullivan comes up with it. Declan O'Sullivan off to Henderson, a minute left to go in this one. Wild lamp calling for the foul and Sonny Oak and Lola is going to be fouled out of this game. Are oh, they gonna call it on Diamond Blakely for an elbow? I tell you, good defense right there on the boxes. They, they're making Catholic Memorial work to put that bat ball in the basket. Unfortunately, time is not on the boxes side. 54 seconds to go and they're down by 10. And um, this Catholic Memorial team is a great free throw shooting team. And they've shown it all evening with their accuracy at the free throw line. Fifty-four seconds left, eleven point edge for the Knights. Noah uh, Spencer Aronson has been Fire tonight from long range. Diamond Blakely, a long three, no good. And I think with that long three, Brockton just admitted defeat. Former athletic director John Booten in the house tonight. Taking in this high powered matchup. Calling a timeout as Aronson was under siege from Amir Lou Charles and Zenon Correa. 31 seconds left, 69-58 the score with this break in the action. We want to thank the cast and crew for bringing you the sights and sounds from Staff Gymnasium tonight. Up top on camera we have Chris Bazile and the Greek freak Phil Philippides. Down here on stats. It's great to have a stats man. That, yes it is. Meatball? Mike Simmons doing a great job. Again, he delivers. Mike the Postman Simmons, yet another delivery to the viewers yes. of Brockton as the referees are debating splitting the remainder of my sub from dinner. <laughs> of course, big game Miles Jackson, myself, the Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you an always entertaining game from Staff Gymnasium. Boxers have one more home game, six o'clock on the 23rd of February against Weston. There is the Mansfield tournament 
And if you have the opportunity, get down to Mansfield High School and take that one in. A lot of high-powered teams, Wachusett, Mansfield, Lowell, and Brockton, all ranked in the top 25 in the state. 28.9 to go, 15 on the shot clock for the Knights. Well, since it was senior night, I'd like to wish all the seniors the best of luck in whatever they do after they leave this um, high school. Sunny Oak and Lola top of the list for the seniors, Mayor Louis Charles, Josiah Davis and Marquis Dos Santos. The four seniors on the men's basketball team. Logging in for that's uh, number 21, Jalen Jordan. He's fouled quickly. Senator Correa called for that one. Yeah, he looks like he's hurting somewhere. I, he might have got hit in the spot where um, uh, most men like don't want to uh, get hit in the spot. Yeah, he's. Plus, he's frustrated. Jim sending everyone back to play defense as Jordan has a one and one. It's his first to earn the second. Shot clock off, Sunny Oak and Lola. He takes a long three, no good. Aronson comes down with the rebound. And Brockton's not gonna follow here. Tetson sent 10 seconds to go. And Aronson's just gonna dribble around. Now he gives it off to Azums. The buzzer sounds, this one has come to an end. 70 to 58, your final score, CM. Getting the victory by 12 points and miles. I think the slow start was ultimately what killed the boxers tonight. I was thinking the same thing. The slow start, tons of free throws missed early in that first half. And um, Brockton just couldn't quite dig themselves out of the hole. But give um, Catherine Moore a lot of credit. They got a well-rounded team there. And their star Henderson showed, what, showed Brockton what he was all about um, here this evening. The Brockton kid with 27 points, easily leading the Knights in scoring behind him, Spencer Aronson with 16. For the Boxers, the leader only with 12 points, Zendin Correa with half of those coming at the free throw line. And if you wanna win against a high powered 13 and five team, you can't have your center scoring, leading the scoring with half of his points coming from the charity strike. Exactly. You know, you know, you gotta, you gotta put D up on all these guys for Captain Momo. They were all dangerous out there. The starting five, a couple guys that came off the bench contributed. They were just a tough team, and Brockton really needs their A-plus game this evening to beat this Catholic Memorial team, and they didn't come out with their A game, unfortunately, this evening. Senior Sonny Okunlola with nine points. Marquis Dos Santos with eight followed up the scoring for the Boxers. Miles, talk about those two and their contributions to this Boxers team. Well, they, they contributed. They did a nice job out there for the most part, but again, they needed the whole team to really pitch in for this if they was gonna beat this Catholic Memorial team. 72-58, your final score. CM getting the win over the Brockton Boxers here at Staff Gymnasium on senior night. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.